All right, so for this year, where's our focus? Our focus is, so for the longest time, there hasn't been a huge consensus to prioritize, to suggest that sellers prioritize um, signing up for Amazon brand registry. So, you know, after you get, get your trademark registered and all that good stuff to be able to uh, submit your brand to Amazon brand registry. A lot of people thought brand registry was ineffective, um, didn't provide substantial benefits beyond uh, with, with the effort required to get into brand registry. But this year, Amazon is showing that they take brand registry extremely seriously. Now, sponsored brand campaigns um, have typically been showing up at the top of the search results page. But in the last few months, sponsored brands have been have been have been given uh, other placement all over Amazon. Okay. And with that, there's something called custom images beta. So custom images beta is, so with sponsored brand campaigns, you have um, your brand logo. Okay. So when sponsored brand campaigns typically showed up at the top of the search results, then on the very left, left side, you'll see your brand logo. Then on the right side, you'll see the three advertised products. But with custom images, this is, this is an image that is larger than the brand logo and overlays on top. Um, and it's, a, it's an image where Amazon actually has, uh, is, is actually very lenient with requirements as to what they allow to show up in the custom image. So uh, text can show up in the custom image. Uh, they, they actually, in their guidelines, suggest that it would be some sort of a lifestyle image as well, okay? So we have seen a huge increase of impressions um, delivered through sponsored brands campaigns, especially the ones that have effective custom images in them. So that's something that we are focusing on. Uh, for some of our accounts that are ready for um, sponsored brands with custom images. Uh, the next thing is sponsored brands video. So this is something that's been available for a few months now. Now, the videos that have been delivering the best performance are the ones that are professionally shot with high production quality. Now, this is these videos, unless you, um, if you are, going to go with a third party to, uh, professional videographer to shoot it. You're looking at a cost on the order of $700 to $1,000 and on up per video. Okay. So it is a pretty costly investment, but it could be very worth your while. Now, if you don't have that kind of a budget, then what's sufficient is to find um, a contractor or a consultant off of a site like Fiverr.com to and search for those that specialize in creating drop shipping video ads. Um, you probably want to put in there uh, when you do a search on Fiverr.com. Not only you want to look for somebody who does drop shipping video ads, but slip in the word Amazon as well. Okay, so you want um, someone who has had experience doing that. Uh, what they'll do generally is they'll, what, um, yeah, so what they'll do is they'll, um, typically they'll request a set, a library of static images, static pro uh, product shots, and then they'll apply effects. They'll apply transition effects and um, overlay copy uh, into those ads so that for anywhere from 15 to $25, you can have a video ad. A video ad that's basically a slideshow of um, static images of your, of your product. Uh, something new that's come up is negative match on product targets or ASINs and automatic campaigns for sponsored products, okay? Um, 
Amazon is also starting to gradually roll out the ability to create product bundles. Now, if you only have one product or two products, you can create, so if you have two SKUs, if my math is right, you could create a total of four bundles, right? So But no, it goes beyond that though. My math is wrong. <laughs> but it goes beyond that too, where uh, last I recall, Amazon allows you to create um, multi-packs of a single SKU. So if you only have one SKU, but you want to create a sponsored brands campaign with um, and uh, be able to add a custom image to it, then if, if you need that, uh, the minimum of three SKUs or ASINs created, then what you would do is you just create um, a um, multi-pack using the virtual product bundle feature so that it can be advertised on sponsored brands. Now, if <clears throat> your product line is conducive to creating bundles um, and um, you lack co-packing facilities or kitting facilities to do it, um, then this is your opportunity to create virtual bundles. However, you can only advertise them with sponsored brands. Uh, Amazon does not allow product bundles to be advertised through sponsored products yet. Okay. Um, the nice thing too, the other nice thing about product, virtual product bundles is that you define a main product in that bundle and those bundles will show up, um, generally speaking, right below your product images, your traditional product images at the top of the page. Okay, so pretty prime placement for that kind of stuff. All right, and finally, um, sponsored display campaigns. Now, for years, we have uh, deprioritized, de-emphasized sponsored display campaigns, but we have seen some, a tremendous number of impressions come through and also the, um, the metrics, the conversions are uh, yielding great results for us. You've, so um, you can, so the types of targeting are interest, views, and products. Um, so you can do product targeting where you define the um, ASINs that you wanna target. But sponsor display can also, um, you can also define targets based on interest and views. And uh, this, this allows advertising both on as well as off Amazon. So it's a little bit of retargeting going on with those campaigns. Okay, so in this page, I wanted to show you a product page. And here, whoops, and the yellow highlights are placements for some of these ads. So um, the, so in the left screenshot, underneath the buy button where it says, uh, where you see that uh, orange coupon that says save 5% off. Um, that is um, a sponsor, sponsor display placement. And you see new placement with the life extension bottle on to the left of that too, okay. In the screenshot on the right, uh, the screenshot on the right is the portion of the page that's actually lower for this uh, vitamin C product from now brands the the ads that we see that are highlighted in yellow in the right screenshot those are new placement for sponsored brands campaigns okay so no longer are sponsored brands limited to the top of search anymore they are showing up in different areas on Amazon and you want Knowing that, so previously, so previously, um, <clears throat> previously it was sponsored products campaigns that would mostly show up on product detail pages, but we're seeing a split between that and sponsored brands. So, um, previously, so, so this, this lends credence more and more to how Amazon is really encouraging brand branding to occur brand registry to happen and um and finally to have brands advertise um so this is even more of an argument to um, create a brand um, to get impressions and visibility on amazon 
Okay, so in this slide, um, because this is uh, Google's version of PowerPoint, I'm not able to show the full version of what's highlighted, but that's a video ad. Okay, and that's a video ad on desktop, and video ads also show up on mobile too. And you can see that the placement is very prominent, um, huge. So, um, if you cannot afford the budget of creating a professional video, you should really, really consider uh, finding somebody from Fiverr just to help you whip something up for twenty to thirty dollars. And by the way, this ad, this video ad, uh, the full version of it, it is not pro pro uh, professionally shot. It is actually just a bunch of um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It's just a bunch of elements just stitched together. The bag of vitamin C that we see on the left side of the ad, um, <laughs> when you play the ad, all it's doing is, is spinning. It's, it's, it's spinning at us to, to get our attention. So, um, so yeah, yeah. Um, definitely, there really should be very little reason to not get on top of creating um, video ads. Okay, so that's all for that I have for now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach me at my website, which is www.correlate.co. You can also email me at hlee -E at correlate.co. And that's it. So I hope um, you were able to uh, get some takeaways from these series of slides. I know that the content went long, but uh, wanted to really bookend uh, the discussion, the focus on both the supply and demand side of things, since we're in a in in a once in a lifetime uh, type of a situation right now. So um, I so I hope that gives you some focus and some nuggets to um, consider. Meanwhile, enjoy the rest of the Ecom Q4 Summit. Take as much advantage of the Q4 2020 sales firehose as much as possible. And I wish you the best of luck this Q4. Thank you very much.